It's a great, it's a great hat, great hat. I guess I should start this video by saying, Joe Biden, I will be voting for Joe Biden. Um, I really was not looking forward to making this video, and not because I'm afraid of the comments or the awful things that my detractors are going to say about me for making this video, but I didn't want to make this video because I've never, ever felt so disenfranchised with U.S. politics. It's, you know, it's every time I turn on the news or I read news online or I look at Twitter or anything in between, it just feels like this overwhelming noise from the world of, of politics. And I think that it just be, has become so overwhelming. I'd always rather just like play with my kids or, or go make a video about a drone or go surfing or play Call of Duty or anything that is not engaging with politics. And I'm not proud of that. I'm, I'm ashamed of that. I think that, you know, like the, the government and the politicians who leave the government, they have a big impact on my life, on all of our daily lives. And um, I think whether you choose to participate or you stick your head in the sand, either way, you're a part of it. So why not inform yourself as best you can and then try to engage in difficult conversations? Not all the time, but sometimes. And then also just, no matter how funny you think that this hat is, don't wear it because it's not productive, even though it's hysterical. Uh, so with that, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying and uh, I've made some political donations this year. I mean, not to either presidential campaign, um, but to smaller campaigns where I thought I could have an impact. Most of my, most donations that I make are not political. Most are for places like food banks and um, LGBTQ plus causes, things like that. That's where I like to, you know, if I'm giving money away, that's what I like to focus my energy on. But, um, but what I'm really trying to do now, in a way I've never done before, is to really listen and interact and engage with people's who, pol uh, people who have political opinions that, that, really differ from my own. Um, and it's not because I want to have my mind changed, but it's because I want to maybe better understand. I think that there's, there's always been divisiveness in this country and around the world, and anytime there's humans, there are, there's divisiveness, but I never r remember it being as extreme as it is right now. It's something that like I'm aware of, and I feel every single day, whether I leave the house or not. Um, I support this guy, I support this party or this position, and if you don't, you're wrong, and I hate you, and I'm going to say awful things about you on Twitter, and I'm going to show up at protests, and I'm going to scream in your face, and sometimes it leads to violence. I see this stuff, like, every day, um, and I, you know, I, I do have beliefs, and I think some of my beliefs are, are flexible, some things I don't understand, and I'm always open to engaging in conversations about those, and if somebody can make more sense than I can make sense of something, then that's great. It, it informs my perspective. And there are other positions that I hold that are completely inflexible, things that I'm, I'm are at the core of who I am, and I've always felt that way. And if you don't feel that way, I might think you're wrong, but I don't hate you. And I don't wish harm upon you. I think, like, my dad voted for Donald Trump. I disagree with him. And it's definitely led to some very uncomfortable conversations for the last couple years at Thanksgiving. But he's still my dad. I still love the guy. I, you know, I, I think whether Trump wins or doesn't win... And by the way, I'm recording this video like one week out from the election. And I think Donald Trump has a very, very good chance of winning this election. Um, I don't really, I, there are polls, I, I think that Donald Trump has a very good chance of winning this election. But regardless of whether or not he wins, um, I don't think that this divisiveness is going gonna, is, is gonna to go away anytime soon. And that really like, that scares me. It, it's tremendous concern to be like raising kids in a place or living, existing in a world, in a country where there's such, um, such divisiveness. And I also struggle because I don't know what the best way to address that divisiveness is. 
Um, I'm voting against Donald Trump because I, I think that he, more than any other president that I can remember, is doing more to further divisiveness. But I'm also trying personally hard to engage and listen to others even when we don't see eye to eye. You know, if your political beliefs differ from mine, you're not my enemy. And those things feel like they can contradict, but that's something that I'm actively, I'm actively working on. So I think that's it. And I'm sure if you look at the comments, there's going to be a lot of people calling me names because I'm not supporting Trumps. And there'll be a lot of people calling me names or mad at me because I'm not doing a good enough job supporting Biden. I'm not going to take it personally. Um, I just wanted to make this video because I wanted you to know how I feel. And I can't wear this hat, which is how I really feel because it's too confusing. Um, but that's, that's kind of it. Um, I'll end this diatribe with a quote that I read on Twitter from the great ice T, where he said, at some point you'll realize what they think doesn't matter. Enjoy your life no matter what. Okay. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I'll see you in 2024.